that explores the most fascinating topics in media pop culture. So I have to admit, I thought the show was cancelled after our long hiatus, but here we are back on Retro Cirque. I'm Fernanda, your host, and today I'm joined by my co-host and surprisingly my alter ego, Fenny the Talking Mime. <coughs> so, <clears throat> Fenny. Please tell me, what happened? Why are we back on Retro Cirque? Fernanda, how could you think we were cancelled? Stuck is more popular than ever and we are here to stay! Hmm, are we? Or are we here because of a strike? And why do you talk? <coughs> okay, okay, so you just want me to just mind without words? Nah, not really. <clears throat> Let's just get started. <laughs> Hello and welcome back to Stock the YouTube news magazine that delve into the most fascinating topics in pop culture. <laughs> I'm Fernanda, your host, and today I am joined by my new co-host, Feni, the talking mind from Chile. <laughs> so, Feni, please let us know, how is it going? Uh, I'm great, Fernanda. I'm so excited to be joining the stock team. <laughs> yes, we are thrilled to have Feny on board. Feny, can you tell us a little bit about how you became the co-host of Stop? Oh, 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 yes. I used to be a guest on the show when it was called Stuck on the Kelly. But then Lynn left for Australia. So I was offered the co-hosting role. And I couldn't be happier. <laughs> but you also co-host... Telemine. In fact, we both co-hosted Telemine. Not, not good, Fernanda. I was just a Telemine, and let me tell you, it was. What happened? values were low. The writing was mm -hmm. and the host was mm -hmm. you know it was just a total mess. <laughs> well I'm glad you're back here with me on the spot. We've been on a long hiatus but here we are back and ready to bring you more entertaining and informative content you love. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And you know what they say, you can never go wrong with a classic. So, sit back, relax, and join us as we take a journey back in time to explore the world of 80s and 90s sitcoms. The 80s and 90s were a golden age for sitcoms, with shows like Cheers, Friends, and Seinfeld defining the genre. But, how did sitcoms evolve during this time? In the 80s, sitcoms were often set in familiar places like a bar or a coffee shop and centered around a group of friends or colleagues. These shows relied heavily on physical comedy, witty wine liners, and a laugh track to guide the audience's reactions. <laughs> and the humor was so clever and timeless! I still watch those shows and laugh at their jokes today! <laughs> oh, and let's not forget about the iconic fashion and hairstyles of the shows! Oh, and those hairstyles! They were so pink and bold! And those clothes were so colorful and fun! <laughs> so, what made these shows so special? And what impact have they 
had on the sitcom genre. Oh yes, yes, the 80s and 90s sitcoms were important because they showed that TV comedy could be more than just a silly distraction. These shows tackled serious issues like love, relationships and friendship in a way that was both entertaining and relatable, and their influence can still be seen in the sitcoms of today. And then, what do you think makes a great sitcom? Mm. For me, a great sitcom needs to have strong characters with unique personalities and it needs to tackle relatable situations in a funny way. The characters need to feel like real people and we need to be able to care about what happens to them. Mm -hmm. I couldn't agree more. Well, that's all the time we have for today on the evolution of sitcoms in the 80s and 90s. Till next time! And remember to keep it fun and keep it stuck! <laughs> and don't forget to check out our playlist of vintage commercial and stay tuned for new episodes of Stuck right here on Retro Surf. Stuck is a presentation of Jar Lagan Studios.